Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hi, this is Phil Johnson from IBM Data Power Support, and this video is a demonstration on how to use the log target event trigger on the IBM Data Power Gateway. This feature is used to engage a set of commands when a particular event is detected within the logs. In this demonstration, I've created a simple multi-protocol gateway service on DataPower, which is configured to act as a proxy to the backend application server. I'm using curl as a client-side application to manually send a request to the multi-protocol gateway service. The multi-protocol gateway service is, in turn, configured to open a new connection between DataPower and my backend server, then forward the request. The backend timeout setting on my multi-protocol gateway service is configured to timeout after 5 seconds. For this demonstration, I have configured my backend not to respond, which will cause the connection attempt to fail when it reaches the 5 second timeout threshold. When this happens, there will be an error message logged on data power indicating that there was a failure to connect to the backend server. Typically when working with data power support, you will be requested to gather more detailed data on events such as this to determine the root cause of the failure. For this scenario, the best set of data to gather at the time of the connection failure would be an error report, debug level logs, and a packet capture. If this error is highly intermittent, it can be difficult to capture data manually before the log file rolls over and the valuable data is lost. However, we can use a log target event trigger to automatically gather this data at the moment the problem happens by using a set of commands to disable a log target, stop a packet capture, and generate an error report. Let's take a look at the problem scenario. Here I'm using curl to send my request. However, instead of getting a valid response, there's a five second delay followed by a response with some generic error returned from data power. Looking at the logs for this transaction, I can see that the backend connection attempt was apparently timed out. The timestamp shows that the connection attempt was started at timestamp 1715 seconds, then apparently timed out at 1720 seconds. Just after the timeout log message, there's another log message with more detail stating that data power failed to establish a backside connection. From this error message, I can extract the message ID and use it for our log target trigger. From here I can build our command string, which will be processed by the log target event trigger at the time the error happens. As mentioned earlier, the command string will stop the packet capture, generate the error report, and disable the log target. Logging onto data power, I can navigate to my existing log target and modify it to engage the log target event trigger functionality. Once in the log target configuration page, I can click the event triggers tab and select the add button to create a new trigger criteria. Here I can enter the message ID and the message ID parameter. Then I add the commands to be executed in the CLI command parameter and then click the apply button. At this point I can view my event trigger criteria before applying the changes in the log target configuration page. Select Apply and save your configuration to set the log target trigger. Now that the configuration is saved, I'm going to leave my screen on the event trigger tab so that I can monitor for any changes that might be made when the trigger fires. At this point, I will also need to start the packet capture before beginning our test. After entering the command to start the packet capture, I see a status message which indicates that the trace has begun and I can continue with reproducing the error scenario. I send my request again using curl and get the same generic response from data power after a 5 second delay. Now I can refresh my log target configuration page and confirm if the trigger has fired by checking the state of the log target. From here I can navigate to the file management icon and confirm that the error report was generated and that the PCAP and log target were successfully stopped.
I can then download and review these files to further confirm that the event trigger fired by finding the log message which shows the trigger issued by the command string I specified. The logs even contain the command line messages which indicate the commands were executed correctly to generate the error port, stop the log target, and stop the packet capture. This concludes the demonstration of the log target event trigger on data power. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the uh, comment section below. Thanks everybody. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.